Hey man, thank you so much for coming by my neck of the woods here, you know. <clears throat> I know you got a lot of choices of places to come to, but I just want to do, talk about this song and maybe do this song for you. <clears throat> you know, I, I, uh, I was uh, not born into any wealthy family or anything like that, man. You know, I was born in East L.A. And uh, my mother, you know, she was a, a saint, madre de Dios, you know. She was a saint, I say, let me tell you. Uh, she had 22 kids, all right, 22 kids, and she put them all through college, except a few, and I was one of the ones that did not go to college. Something happened to me, man. I went wrong, I say. I went wrong. Mira, I wound up in uh, Pelican Bay, you know, and for those of you who don't know Pelican Bay, you know, it's probably the worst maximum security prison in the United States, okay? It's really bad, um, you know, in maybe even North America, because uh, even the prisons, you know, like let's say Tijuana, um, the guards let you do what you want. You know, it's like a little community underneath the guard, ta guard tower there. Um, and there's like a black market, you know, you can buy what you want as long as you have the dinero. Mucho dinero will get you by there, you know what I say? You know what I'm talking about, huh? But anyway, I, uh, I want to tell you about this experience, you know. Uh, the one day when I was in prison, uh, Johnny Cash came. You know, Johnny Cash and uh, the Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. They were on the same bill together at uh, Pelican Bay, and I went to see them in the theater there, you know, and uh, the song that the Sam the Sham played, you know, it changed my whole life. It was called Wooly Bully. It changed my life. Um, I became a different person. I got out of prison, you know, and I, I made something in my life. I, uh, I became a, a restaurant manager, you know, a manager over there at Wendy's, you know, in East L.A., you know. So I'm not lying to you, USA. That's what happened. I, I advanced myself in life. And, um, you know, that's, that's where I met Stella. You know, Stella came in one day, and uh, she had the biggest frittatas I've ever seen in my life. And we started talking, you know, became a couple. And, um, her frittatas were so big. One time we decided to conduct an experiment, and we took a bowling ball, and we put one underneath one of her frittatas just to see if it would stay there, you know, if it would be a hiding place for the bowling ball. Hey, Mira, it stayed there. I don't know why, but it stayed there, right there. So any, anyway, um... We listened to uh, this song over and over again. Uh, it's called Wooly Bully. We listened to that, and it changed both of our lives. You know, you know. Uh, then, uh, then uh, uh, I want to tell you this. Then, okay, um, you listen to Wooly Bully three times a day. It's going to change your life. Okay, I guarantee it. Okay, um, you know, uh, it's about this two-eyed monster. Many times I would ask Stella. I would say, Hey, you want to see the one-eyed monster? And <laughs> she'd say. Oh, I say bring it out, bring it out here, you know. Anyway, this is a song, uh, and it's called uh, Wooly Bully. It's not one of these deep philosophical songs, man. It's just a fun little number, but it changed my life, and, and I know it can change your life. Mm hmm. <laughs>
recommendation, all right? And once in a while, I'll show your woman the, the one-eyed. Okay, man. <clears throat> Take care now. Vaya con tacos.